Hey guys, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. On this video, I've got this cargo carrier luggage rack that goes on the back of your vehicle. We just used it for this awesome trip to Yellowstone for the first time. There's a link in the description. So this is a rack that actually has the sides on it. That's why we bought the thing. It's got these 12 or 14 inch sides that come up a little bit. Um, we actually got a couple of compliments on the trip. I wish I would have got them on film because this guy walks up to us. He's like, where'd you get this rack? This thing's awesome. Mine doesn't have these sides that come up on it. I wish I would have got one like yours. Um, anyway, so let's check it out. Let's get to the video. I'll do um, the positives on it, the negatives on it, what we like about it, what we don't like about it. It does hold up to 400 pounds. And like I say, we can still open the back of our SUV as long as we don't have it like fully loaded up with stuff. So if we have the totes off the back of it, we can open up the back of the vehicle. So let's check it out. Here we go. Be sure and like and subscribe. All right, you guys, so we're going to start off with the unboxing. And this rack, the dimensions are at 60 inches wide by 24 inches. But you guys, so the instructions leave a lot to be desired. So that is literally your page of instructions. So, I mean, I guess we're just lucky they're somewhat in English. And uh, the pictures are big. So that is all the instructions right there. Five steps. And that's it. The other page just basically is a list of the parts. We'll diagram and uh, that's the instructions. So uh, let's go ahead with the so-called setup and uh, just look at some very big pictures and see how this goes. Hey guys, so assembly time here it took me maybe 20 minutes and I used just a couple of crescent wrenches to put this rack together. It was really straightforward, um, really easy to assemble. I'm just gonna speed it up here on the video just to save you some time. So here we go. Very important, you want your square tube with the two holes on the front of the basket. So the front of the basket has your extra grab bars right here. So make sure you've got the extra bars right here and the two holes on this um, square tube should be on the front of the basket so you've got the extra bars right here because otherwise the thing will be backwards apparently
All right, you guys, as you can see, once this rack is fully assembled, you literally just slide it into the receiver hitch on your vehicle. And then instead of a regular pin that you put through there, it's got a threaded bolt that you put through there. And then it's got like a lock nut that you put on the other side. And then you're all set, you're good to go. Should be good. And it'll lock in place just like that. With the Volkswagen Atlas, you can still access the back of your vehicle with this luggage rack. So check it out. Very nice feature and it's still out of the way. All right, you guys, so if you're gonna buy the rack, then worth a mention, part of the video is you want to get the stabilizer which is basically just a giant u-bolt and it's this little bolt right here and this holds the entire rack really stable and so here's what it looks like it's a u-bolt with a couple of nuts and it is about ten dollars and here's what it is so one u-bolt two nuts and it holds this entire rack really stable and it was totally worth the ten dollars took about five minutes to put on i would suggest you guys get that all right you guys uh this is how it looks fully loaded up and ready to go this is all three totes this is about 300 pounds worth of weight on the back of our new volkswagen atlas and uh this little rack is doing quite well it holds full 300 pounds no problems at all and it looks good it's ready to go we actually got a compliment while we were up in Yellowstone. Guy walks up to me, he's got this little luggage rack and it's got the little sides on it that are maybe like four inches tall. He's like, hey man, where'd you get the rack on your vehicle? And I was like, of course, Amazon. I mean, where else are you gonna buy things? And he's like, I, I love that you have the sides on it because I guess he's got stuff just piled on his vehicle and he's got these little four inch or six inch sides and we've got like these 12 or 14 inch sides and that's the main reason we bought this particular rack was it had just the higher sides it just looked like things would be more stable and sure enough they are a little bit more stable when you pile things into this and you can strap things on better just more stuff to hold on to so we did get that compliment while on the road all right you guys so let's start with the review portion of this video so we're going to start with positives so the reason we bought this particular rack was mainly because of the sides on this thing. So it's got, I think there are 12 or 14 inch sides on this rack. So that was my first thing I liked about it was that it actually had the side railings that go all the way around it. Just looked more stable, like it was gonna hold everything in place um, as you're traveling down the freeway at, you know, 80 plus miles an hour. Just saying. All right, so another big plus, a lot of racks weren't quite as wide as this. This is a full 60 inches wide and it's 24 inches deep. So I really like that, just like the size. So 60 inches by 24. Another big plus, just a lot of real estate back there to throw things in. We elected to go with uh, these big totes, as you can tell in the video here, that we just packed all the stuff in so that's another big plus right there a lot of room all right so another positive is this thing can hold up to 400 pounds of weight and 
I guarantee we were pushing uh, 300 plus pounds on the back of that and we'd hit the bumps on the freeway or whatever and you could tell there was a lot of weight on that hitch but it never bothered this uh it never bothered this cargo rack one bit but you could tell there was definitely a lot of weight on the back of that thing so weight definitely a big plus all right so another positive is that the sides on this cargo rack actually pop open so it's got little pins where you can pop open the ends of that and you can access your luggage or your totes or whatever. So each end of that have a little pin that you can pop open and just swing those little gates open on the side of that. Another huge plus. All right, so kind of going along with that last one where the sides all fold down and you've got like this little locking pin, easy storage. So when we got back from our trip from Yellowstone, we just folded down all the sides, pulled it off the vehicle and we just leaned it up against one of the walls in the garage there, one of the little cutouts. And so super easy uh, to store, it folds up nice and flat. So, okay, so another big positive I forgot to mention was that with this cargo rack on the back of your vehicle, most vehicles, and you'll want to check yours for sure, um, maybe before buying this even, but most of them you'll be able to still open the back of the vehicle even with the 14 inch railing all the way around it. So ours didn't have any problem at all, but once you get it fully loaded up, you probably won't be able to open that. But it comes out far enough where we still were able to open it without any problem until we got it fully loaded up. So another big positive on that. All right, you guys, so another obvious big benefit of this is this whole thing folds down. So you can fold down all the railings and then you can fold this entire cargo rack right up so that it's just straight up vertical. And you've got like a little locking pin that you can put into the hitch and then it's completely up and out of the way and it just saves you all that space for parking or whatever. So another huge positive. So when you don't have a bunch of cargo on the back there, just fold that thing up vertically and uh, off you go down the road. All right, you guys, let's talk about the negative side. So um, one thing we found out kind of the hard way is if you don't have the weight distributed evenly, it just doesn't handle it well. It gets a little squirrely. What we found out is if you have too much weight on one side, not enough weight on the other side, it tends to kind of twerk the rack a little bit. Even though this thing can handle 400 pounds worth of weight, it does not like it if it's not distributed evenly. So that's negative number one. Okay, so another negative about this cargo rack, you really need that hitch stabilizer. It's like a $10 part spend the 10 bucks, get the hitch stabilizer. It's just this little metal plate. Um, I'll put a picture up here and it just totally uh, takes any sway or any lean out of that, that cargo rack that it'll put on your vehicle. We tried it without the stabilizer, just test run a couple of blocks and there's some sway and there's a little bit of play on that thing without the stabilizer. Spend the $10, get the stabilizer. It's completely worth it. It takes all the sway out of this thing and it's the best $10 you'll spend if you get this luggage rack. All right, so another negative, and it may just be because of the 2,000 miles we drove or the amount of weight that we had on this thing. But after we got up to Yellowstone, I grabbed the Crescent Wrench and uh, maybe me just being anal or attentive, but I cranked on those bolts again and I tightened everything up just a little bit, including the, uh, the hitch stabilizer. Those bolts needed a couple of turns and um, there's a little bit of play i pulled on that rack a little bit and it would it would give just a little bit tightened everything up and man it took out all that play and there was no more sway or anything and and that uh, with all you know 300 plus pounds on there so maybe it's a negative maybe just the amount of distance and weight that we had on that thing but definitely i tighten things up again so all right, so for those of you with a smart vehicle like we just got, it will like crap its pants if it has something behind it that close. So uh, we found out the hard way we had to turn off all the backup sensors uh, when we had this, this cargo trailer, this cargo rack behind us. And uh, otherwise the vehicle would like lock up the brakes, it would just 
completely freak out. So, uh, you know, not really, not really a negative or a positive, just just a heads up turn off your backup sensor because your smart vehicle will completely freak out so just there is that all right you guys so this did cost a little bit more and maybe because that side rail comes up a little bit higher than a lot of the other ones on the market the other cargo racks but honestly i think it's worth that peace of mind knowing that your cargo is not going to go sliding out on the road when you go around a bend or something that's totally your call though if you strap things down really good and you have one of the little bit lower cargo racks you're probably just fine um, i just like having that peace of mind so you know that's just a personal preference um, overall this is a really good rack and uh, we didn't have any issues with it all right, you guys, so to summarize, hopefully you've gone through, done your research. I've done the research on this before we went ahead and ordered this thing. I'd love to see some comments. I'd love to see what else you guys have found out there. Let me know. And uh, be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And check out these other awesome videos. Thanks again. Thanks so much for watching.